Lots of fish keepers out there everywhere are changing over their biomedia from things like ceramic rings and lava rock and whatever else they're using to these little pot scrubbers. They're great in the kitchen and they're supposed to be great in your filters too. But if you switch over to these, could you actually be killing your fish? Well, let's find out. Here we go. Everyone wants the best filtration they can have for their aquariums. And a huge part of this is deciding which type of biomedia to put inside our filters. Most people today are using more traditional forms of biomedia like ceramic rings, lava rock, biohome. But some people have been recently switching over to something less traditional, and that's the use of plastic pot scrubbers. And they've been seeing good results. So I did a video recently where I added plastic pot scrubbers to this polishing filter. It was about a month ago. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to unhook this filter and we're gonna take a look inside and see what they look like now. And I'm gonna go over why they're good for your aquariums and then also why some people had some concerns that I was using them to start with. You're making a mistake. So let's get this thing unhooked. So first things first, let's take these baskets apart and get down to where I put those pot scrubbers, which is in the final basket. See what they look like. Now first thing you'll notice is that I just threw them in there. And that was a mistake. I should have lined them up and I'll show you how I'm gonna put them back in. But they look like they were almost brand new. They look like they just came out of the package to me. But it has only been a month, so there hasn't been a lot of time for something to build up on these. Plus, this was my polishing filter, and I had it on the side where the wave makers aren't blowing all the detritus everywhere. So I'm going to take these out and put them back in how I should have put them in before, which is more side by side. This is hard to do with one hand while I'm holding the camera, but I can fit a lot more of these in that way. Maybe four more in there than I was using before. As long as I can get the basket on top, I should be pretty good. Let me explain something. When you take the filter lid off and it's been too long and you have that brown sludge everywhere, your first instinct is probably to take it out and thoroughly clean it, right? To make it look nice and fresh. Well, that may not be the best thing you can do unless you're having flow issues with the filter. That brown sludge can be a good thing. And what looks like pure nastiness is holding much of your beneficial bacteria. That's taking care of your ammonia and nitrite so your fish can survive. It's also helping to keep that water crystal clear. So eventually these pot scrubbers will fill with some of that brown sludge and along with it, beneficial bacteria, which is just what you want. These are the ceramic rings that come with most aquarium filters. They do a good job, they've been doing a good job for years. Most people are actually using those. And this is lava rock that does about the same thing for a lot less money. I got a big bag of this for something like $5 down at the local landscaping company. But these pot scrubbers are going to be a lot more beneficial for housing beneficial bacteria. And the reason is, is because it's full of space and interwoven little pieces of plastic. If one benefit of using pot scrubbers is their surface area for harboring beneficial bacteria, the other is their price. These things are cheap. You can buy them on Amazon, but they tend to cost a little bit more there. I bought mine at the Dollar Tree near our home. A pack of four was about $1.40. I guess the dollar stores aren't selling their things for a dollar anymore, but still a great deal. They come in different sizes also, and I wanted the four inch ones that are about an inch thick. If you decide to swap out your biomedia, just make sure you do it in a small section at a time so you don't crash your cycle and check your parameters for a week or so afterward to make sure everything's still looking good. So if these work so well and are super cheap, why are people afraid of using them? Stick around and I'll show you. Okay, so why wouldn't you wanna use these in your filters? Okay, so when I made that YouTube short I mentioned earlier about adding pot scrubbers to my filter, I had several responses asking about, you probably guessed it, microplastics. In case you don't know, microplastics are small pieces of plastic, about five millimeters or less, that come from larger pieces of plastic. When plastic breaks down, it doesn't just disappear. It keeps turning into smaller and smaller pieces. Many are so small, you can't even see them. Where is it? That's why we're offered paper straws now, instead of old plastic ones. Sucking club soda through a paper straw. 
So people were concerned about putting plastic inside the filter, thinking the fish are going to be bombarded with these tiny plastic particles, which they could wind up eating and breathing. And they're not wrong, but here's the thing. Well, it turns out these microplastics are everywhere. And when I say everywhere, I'm not exaggerating. Here's me drinking some nice tap water, loaded with microplastics. Well, I guess I'll have some Gatorade then. Nope. A nice glass of microplastic milk? Some cereal loaded with them? Even my beautiful wiener dog, Molly, is totally covered with them. Microplastics are even in the dust and air. And guess what? About two thirds of the clothing we wear has them. So when I say it's everywhere, that's exactly what I mean. And from what I could gather, sunlight is the main source that breaks down these larger plastic particles into smaller ones and there's no sunlight inside my filter. Moving water may play a part, but moving water inside the filter is also touching the filter and tubing, which are also, yep, plastic. And just for the record, my heater has plastic on it, my wave maker is plastic, and the entire tank is made of acrylic panels, a form of plastic. We even have these particles inside our bodies, and the verdict is still out whether these are even bad for living organisms or not. So you can do what your heart leads you to do, but as for me, I'm not too worried about these pot scrubbers causing ill effects on my fish. You do need to be careful when you're rinsing your pot scrubbers. Since they're somewhat slick plastic, it's easy to lose all of your beneficial bacteria when you clean them. So just a light rinsing should do the trick. And as I stated earlier, I wouldn't even bother cleaning them unless you notice that they're slowing your filter flow down. And even then, most likely it's your mechanical sponges getting clogged causing the issue and not your biomedia. I'll slowly be swapping out the rest of my biomedia over the next several weeks. What do you think? Would you consider changing over your biomedia to these cheap little pot scrubbers? Or maybe you already did and would like to tell us how it's going. Leave a comment and let everyone know. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>